Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be talking you through five of my favorite outfits that you might already own. So this is more of a shopping your wardrobe, creating outfits out of things that you've owned from previous seasons style video and I hope it is helpful for some of you. But yeah, let's get on with the video and I really hope you guys enjoy this. So this is outfit number one. I still love these trousers so much so I couldn't miss out the opportunity to put them in this video. Um, I've styled them with this little crop grey top from crop from crop shop <laughs> from top shop and um, my top shop leather jacket this is a very top shop heavy outfit even if you don't own like a crop top any kind of t-shirt you could tuck in if you wanted to I prefer crop tops just because I think they sit really nicely and then obviously I've got the green trousers and if you don't own something like this any kind of paper bag tie waist trousers would be great if you own like a tailored pair of black trousers that are like slightly more you know like cigarette style that you wear for work this could be like a really nice casual kind of Friday work outfit any kind of trousers that are like tapered um, at the bottom I think would work really nicely with this kind of outfit on top um, so it doesn't have to be like these green trousers because I know they were mega hard to get hold of and we sold them out <laughs> so that's crazy any trousers whether they're patterned whether they're not I think would work really nicely with like a grey crop top and then leather jackets and then these boots these boots are amazing these are from Zara very similar to the Louis Vuitton style boots that are out at the moment and I really like them I think they work really nicely with this look it's very military but not in a really statement way. It's very understated and really nice and casual as well. I've got to not step on the dog when I step back. Ooh. But yeah, I've just styled it with like this low bun. I think a lot of the outfits I'm wearing work really well with a low bun today, so that's kind of why I styled my hair this way. For accessories, I've just put a pair of hoop earrings in. I think these are going to be my go-to for this video for today. Everything seems to go with it and these are very like casual but pulled together outfits and I think hoop earrings work really nicely for that and then for the rest of my outfit I don't think you can go wrong with a big square oversized pair of sunglasses with this outfit if I was gonna wear something at the house today I think it would be this um, and then for the days when it starts to get a bit chillier so this is how I would style this outfit on chillier days I just love this scarf this is from Zara as well this outfit is very much Topshop and Zara and I really like the camel and grey tones in this scarf and I think they work really well with the outfit it's a very like neutral toned outfit and I just think it looks so cool that is the outfit this is what it looks like also guys if you do decide to um recreate these outfits i will pop a little hashtag on the screen here uh for you to use because i would love to see you post them on twitter on instagram wherever you like i would love to see your like recreations of these outfits that would be awesome so yeah i'll pop that here so this is outfit number two so this coat is from zara i've had this for a couple of months now haven't worn it too much but the past week i've just been like my god i love this coat I need to make a million outfits out of it so yeah really like this one it's super long like a little bit oversized feels very like Parisian kind of built the rest of the outfit around this coat so underneath the jacket I have this top from Alexa the Alexa Chung just Alexa Chung's range yeah um it's available on Netta Porter it might still be um on there so I'll link it if it is um but yeah any kind of like oversized black coat and then statement t-shirt I think is just like really effortless and then I've styled it with my straight leg jeans um, I feel like a lot of people will own these at the moment if not you could go for skinny or boyfriend alternatively alternatively works very well as well any kind of blue jeans really that you feel really comfortable and badass in and then I've just gone for a statement belt again any kind of statement belt I think something with gold on the front looks very nice though then I've got some loafers on I have a love-hate relationship with these shoes but um, with this outfit I just absolutely love the way they work so yeah I'm really liking this outfit then I've just gone for a nude bag because I think it just this is a very neutral outfit again but the denim adds a little bit of color so I decided just to go very neutral with the bag color but I think something quite big because this feels like a day outfit so I feel like a day bag is quite an essential and then again I've just gone for the low bun because I think it adds to like the I barely made an effort vibe it's just super super effortless one of my favorite outfits at the moment so this is outfit number three are we on number three or is this number four I can't even remember anymore anyway I 
love this outfit so so much i wore this last week actually so i'm just wearing like a plain navy knit you could really go for any color with this i chose navy just because i i really really like navy for some reason and then with the blue there's lots of like contrasting tones but they're all very cool toned and very similar so i just thought it worked really nicely and then i'm wearing the same boots again i wore earlier these are my zara chelsea platform ones and yeah i love this outfit it's so cool this um jumper is like super stretchy so i've actually it's not meant to be off the shoulder but i've just pulled it off the shoulder because i think it gives it's such a relaxed vibe um and i just absolutely love it i did have my hair in a bun earlier and i've taken it out uh, just because i think the beret beret however you say it works um a little bit nicer if my hair is down and i love it when my hair is down and straight i think it looks so chic so um yeah that's the main bulk of it i'm going to show you it with the jacket on i think it works really nicely with a leather jacket but also i think it could work really nicely with any of the jackets in this video so there's definitely something to keep in mind lots of these outfits just pair really well with whatever you have i could wear it with my big oversized black coat I might show you both. So this is it with my oversized black coat. It's very warm and snuggly and I think this is the better option for when it gets a little bit colder. And um, I also, I really like the fact that I know not everyone's necessarily going to have a beret in their wardrobe at the moment. This is more one of the things that um, I was talking about from my last video, which is ways to update your wardrobe for winter, where I was talking about single pieces that you can purchase and add them into your wardrobe and it really elevates and changes an outfit. And that is what I feel like this hat does for this outfit it just completely changes it it makes it look so much like cooler and more current so this is kind of one of those examples from my previous video so totally understandable some of you might not already own this but um if you are looking for something and you don't love berets but you're looking for something similar i would definitely say a slouchy beanie very similar vibe so that is what i would say would be the alternative so this is the outfit with the leather jacket and i think you'll agree it really changes the whole vibe so it goes from being kind of smart and a little bit parisian to um something a little bit more edgy that's what i love about leather jackets so yeah i think combined with the boots and the straight leg jeans this just makes it a little bit different it's like a feminine touch to something that is very very androgynous i think that's what i like so much about it that is outfit number whatever i feel like i've changed so many times now i can't even remember but um yeah let me know what you think so here we are on outfit number four i counted we are on outfit number four and um with this one i actually have a few shoe options <laughs> yeah i couldn't really decide i really liked all of the shoe options i had so um i decided i'd show you what all of them look like um because i think each shoe option um describes a very different style and i think lots of you have at least one of these and um that will, the one you have will probably be your preference so some of you might think oh i love that outfit but i don't want to wear heel boots i'd rather wear trainers does that look okay like i'm i'm gonna show you all of them so um yeah i think this outfit is very versatile and could go with all of the different um shoes but yeah i'm wearing um i'm gonna actually take this off and show you what i'm wearing underneath oh god i've got to do this with one hand how basically i'll talk you through it and then i'll show you so yeah this is what the jumper and skirt look like without the jacket i love it i think it's so cute like oh i just love the skirt as well this is also from urban outfitters actually such a beautiful skirt i really like it because um it has a tie waist so you can really like cinch it in at the waist and i just think that that i think all skirts should be tie waists in my opinion i think it's a really nice flattering look and um it's not necessarily like the skater style thing which i think a lot of like magazines and stuff say that like this body shape should go for i think like actually tie waist with like an a-line is totally gorgeous so here we have the gucky loafers i like these i think they make my feet look really really small um i think they look quite cute with this um on top i actually think without the denim jacket i know the denim jacket's a bit like casual but if you work in an office that's a bit like smart casual this jumper and this skirt um and these loafers could work really nicely as a like smart casual vibe so these definitely like streamline you they elongate you it, they're incredible um again they're the zara ones i'm re-wearing they are definitely more of an androgynous vibe but like a more like a smart androgynous vibe because i'd say the trainers are that but more on the casual side of things so yeah i think these would be my top pick i'd say okay so this is what my vans look like um i've just slipped my feet into them if you're wondering because i can't actually like they're too tight for me to slip them on and off i'll be here forever so yeah this is um definitely the more casual overall look i'd say but yeah i think there's a lot of people out there that would absolutely love this and i think for me on weekends this would 
be more of my go-to. I live in these vans on the weekend, so yeah. Would highly recommend getting yourself a pair of these if you don't own them. But yeah, this is my overall outfit. Love it. So cute. So yeah, I would say any kind of denim jacket, preferably a little bit oversized, I think works really nicely. Um, with the fact that like obviously on your bottom half it's all very like streamlined. Nice bit of knitwear. Leather skirt or like an A-line tie waist skirt of any kind. Black tights. Black boots. Really nice, simple, autumn, wintry outfit. I'd say this is more of a transitional autumn to winter outfit. Okay, so outfit number five. I've been wanting to wear this for such a long time. I haven't actually had a chance to wear this outfit out of the house yet. I think I might have seen this or something like this on Instagram and I loved it. So yeah, it's all black. I'm, lo I'm loving all black outfits at the moment. Um, so I'm wearing this roll neck, which I've had for at least a year and a half, if not longer. Um, and I love it. It's got like these big kind of flappy sleeves. It's very nice to kind of like snuggle up in. Um, fun fact, I wear this so much I've had to dig out the wash, the wash baskets get over there uh, today, which might be where it's covered in dog fluff. But yeah, I love it. It fits perfectly and I've paired it with a black denim skirt. So you could do any kind of black skirt. I'd say something that has like belt loops that you can cinch it in at the waist. Um, I think that looks really, really cute. Um, so I've just gone for like a statement belt, black with gold. This one actually has red on the back, but in an ideal world, it would, it would just be black. Then again, tights, I've gone for loafers. I think this is just like a really cute um, look that if you weren't wearing like a denim skirt, you could probably again wear to work. But I think this kind of works on the weekends and it's kind of like a nice smart casual outfit. So I probably wear this when I'm going out for like a dinner that's not like mega fancy, like a weekend occasion that you want to make an effort for, but not a massive effort, if that makes any sense. I've gone for like a slouchy bag, anything more structured. And I think this is looking a bit more like a workwear look. So if that's your vibe, maybe just change the bag up a little bit. Um, for earrings, I've gone for these. These are from Zara. I feel like lots of people probably have already got like a statement pair of earrings. Um, if you do, I would recommend wearing your statement earrings, whether they're tasseled or not. I just think a good pair of earrings with this outfit really changes it up and makes it look a little bit um, less simple. This and the belt really make the outfit. And I think that's an important thing to remember is lots of the time your accessories really do make it. So yeah, that's the main bulk of it. I think it's mega cute. I love it so much. This video has been great for me to like make up outfits that I haven't necessarily worn a lot before and to like play about with my current wardrobe. I've found so many nice outfits and um, yeah, it's been really, it's been good for me. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying it. But um, yeah, coat wise, I'd probably wear my big black one. You could go leather jacket if it's on a weekend, but I just think seeing as we're wearing tights and it's autumn, winter, if things get a bit chilly, you're gonna want a bigger coat. So this is the overall look. I'm a big fan of like an all black outfit, so I love it. I think the gold detailings as well help stop the bag like merging into the jacket and stop everything kind of like just meshing together. But if you wanted something with a bit more color and that's a bit more casual, I would say a blue denim jacket would look great. Um, I'm trying not to like raid my wardrobe for everything um, and try and stick to a limited amount of things to show you guys how you can rework them. But I do think a blue denim jacket would look great. But yeah, I love this outfit so much, it's so good. Oh my God, I need to stop saying that about every outfit in this video, sorry. Okay, so this final outfit is actually inspired by my friend Alana on YouTube. She has a YouTube channel, I'll link it down below for you. And um, I saw an outfit very much like this on her Instagram stories. Um, and I loved it so much that I had to go in this video. So I wanted to take a moment to give a shout out to her for inspiring this outfit for this video. But I also wanted to take a moment and thank Vic from In The Fro for doing this video and bringing it to my attention. I've seen now that loads and loads of people have actually done these, but I saw hers first. She did it recently and um, I'll link hers below because it was really great, but she's basically styled together loads of outfits that you may already own. So if your style is a bit more like hers, I will leave it in the info box because that might be really useful for you. I'm really shaky, it's like going, it's close to lunchtime guys <laughs> and I'm like mega, mega shaky. But yeah, I wanted to give a shout out to both of them for inspiring me in this video. So we'll leave all of those links below um, as well as like links to everything I've worn if it's still in stock because obviously I'm recycling some older items, especially in this outfit as well. You will recognize this one if you've been around a while. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get on and show it to you now. So once again, the aviator jacket is back this year, actually in a lot of different colors. I've seen like a teal colored one in Topshop and I think it looks incredible. But this is actually my sleeveless one from last year, which I think Burberry did like a similar one too. And this is like the Zara copy and oh my God, it is still so soft. I can't stop touching myself. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's so incredibly soft. I am a huge fan of this and it's so warm. Like even throughout the winter, I still wear this and just like a jumper, um, even though that should be too cold. And I know if you're in a, like in the north of England, this that ain't gonna work for you. But for me, I can wear this outfit both in autumn and winter because it is so warm. Um, this fur lining basically goes the whole way through and it's amazing but um yeah again i've paired the black roll neck that i just showed you guys um with this sleeveless aviator and that was my favorite thing to do last year as well it's awesome i'm super happy that the aviator trend is still around because it means i can wear this a lot you know i've just paired it with again that roll neck um my black skinny top shop Joni jeans and then my Zara boots again. I wore this with my Topshop sock boots last year and absolutely loved it. Still have those sock boots though. I could have used them in this but I just wanted to show you how versatile this one pair of shoes can be. So yeah I've just thrown it on with a nude bag. The nude bag is basically to break up the massive black. I feel like it worked in the last outfit because it had like lots of gold studding on it and um, because the zip lining on this is silver I thought I'd go with something that has silver detailing and the nude breaks it up really nicely. Oh, is that tan? Beige. Let's go with beige. The beige breaks it up so like so nicely. Um, yeah, and I've just pulled my hair into a, like a sleek ponytail, added some hoop earrings, and yeah, that is the main bulk of this, but the um, finishing touch on this has got to be these, and um, this this is kind of where Alana came in. She was wearing big square sunglasses and then an aviator jacket from Zara. It was so beautiful. And um, yeah, I just thought it looked so cool. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to need to recreate that for my uh, outfits you might already own video. Because um, even if you don't own a sleeveless one, this is just the one I own. Um, any aviator jacket with big square sunglasses, skinny jeans, awesome boots and like a nude... A nude bag I think looks amazing it's such a cool um really like nice and warm snuggly autumn winter outfit yeah I feel like the jacket really makes it so this is something I probably wear when I'm not gonna be like inside especially with the sunglasses obviously but the outfit underneath is very plain so for me this would be more of an outfit that I wear um when I'm mainly gonna be outdoors to so say I'm like nipping in and out of shops and stuff like that I probably wear this because it's not about what's underneath. I don't know how some people feel about that kind of outfit, but I do like to put those kind of outfits together because I do think sometimes you don't need to worry about what's underneath your coat. Sometimes it's all about the coat and that's okay, you know? But yeah, that is uh, my final outfit. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Do let me know if you would like to see more of these because these are definitely something that I can do more often, seasonally or more than that, if you guys would like, because I could probably put together more winter outfits that you might already own. So let me know if you want to see another one of these over Vlogmas, I could do that. But do let me know by liking this video and leaving me a comment whether you would um, like to see more of these. That would be really helpful if you could do that. Thank you so much. But yeah, let me know your favorite outfit in the comments below. Um, and yeah, if you do decide to recreate them, then do tweet me. I would absolutely love to see your recreations of them. And um, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it here for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this because I got really into it filming this video. I don't know if you can tell halfway through when I tried on like the three pairs of shoes for you guys um but i get in really into like styling things even though it's very very simple but yeah if you wanted some everyday style inspiration then i really hope it helped you guys out and um yeah thank you so much for watching i'm gonna stop rambling now and um i'll see you guys later love you lots bye